Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lost in the Backrooms. Sorry. Now, if you've never heard of the story of the backrooms, it's basically people have been wandering around just doing daily things when they fall through the wall or floor into the back rooms. Now, the back rooms is supposed to be an endless amount of just various rooms that are open without doors. You're supposed to just wander about while there are other things in the back room. And this was one creepy creepypasta that just seemed for some reason to catch wildfire amongst a lot of people. And I looked into it and so I, I read all the creepypasta about it and I saw this and I was like, well, it looked cool. Settings, what can I do here? Wait, VHS intensity. Oh no, we're cranking that to the max, because I love that feature. I love it when video games have that VHS feel to it. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. And... Any day now. Oh. Now see, for some reason, this just gives me vibes of my... Of, like... Uh, my grandma's house. This gives me vibes of my grandma's house because it just has that kind of retro, like, 1960s look to it. Hello? I can hear my own footsteps, but I can't hear anything else. Okay, that's gone. I can't sprint, so I'm telling that just right now. I cannot sprint. This is the pace we're stuck in. Yeah, but I think this is an interesting take, to, just because of this. Like, the creepy pasta is just you're in the back room, and it's just a bunch of rooms. There's no exit strat. There's no stairs. There's no going up. There's no going down. It's just you in a bunch of rooms. And I think we've all seen the Minecraft memes of it, where they're just mining and oops. Hello. Thanks. Yeah, and that's the thing. You're supposed to be able to hear things or see people. But it's supposed to be you are in... That scared the balls off me. Like, oh, God, that hurt. What is this? If you're listening to this, I'm sorry. You're probably wondering where you are right now. The short answer is nowhere good. Somewhere back in the real world, you went through a door that wasn't a door, or you clipped through a wall like a glitch in a some game. And now you're here, in the place they call the back rooms. I'm leaving behind these tapes in the hope that you maybe someone finds me or I can help others find an exit. Keep your wits about you. There are things wandering these halls that want you dead, or worse. Whatever you say, pal, I'll believe you for now. I'm gonna go down these stairs, because... And these stairs, oh my god. Like, uh, what I loved about the back rooms, the story, was how much it gave off an SCP-185, uh, I think it was, 185 which is the Endless Staircase, which I love. Like, that is one of the coolest SCPs I love. Like, for those who don't know what it is, SC that SCP specifically is supposed to be a staircase that with each floor changes something in the environment. You could possibly go a hundred, maybe even a thousand, maybe even a thousand floors without uh, witnessing a change, but there are changes. And it's like, oh, by going through so many levels, we've seen people uh, in the staircase. We've seen doors that are locked but unable to be opened. But you can still, like, interact with these things. And it's supposed to be that the SCP... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go low. It's supposed to be that the SCP is changing reality as you move on, making it worse and worse as you go on. I think that was upstairs. I think that, that noise was from upstairs. Uh, no 
I want to say that's the noise of doors disappearing. Yeah. I think this was... Hello? Ah, oh, crap. I'm back here again, aren't I? Except, wait. I didn't go up these stairs. See, that's what I mean. I'm getting, like, deja vu without even... Ooh, what's this? This probably... This is probably something good. You guys heard that, right? There was a loud thump. Hello? And there's those stairs again. See? See? It's deja vu without you realizing it's deja vu. Because that's what the back door, back rooms do to you. Is that you could go through 15 rooms and they could all be the same. And by going through one, you just realize, oh, there's a staircase there. Go into the next room. Wait, I feel like I've been here before. Like, that's what they do to you. And it's so weird. That's so cool, too. Like, I would love if this was just inspired by the SCP. Because that would make it so much cooler. I'm gonna go in here. So I haven't seen anything yet. That's a win. See, there, that's that hallway again. Oh. We're gonna go this way. Now, see, I don't know if they'll loop me back or if they'll... Oh, this looks ominous. I'm gonna go low ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take on ground floor first. Actually... Okay, I was about to say, let's start with the other way. What the heck is this? I wish I could just tell you where to go, but it's no use. Tried to draw a map and only gave myself a headache. This place has been a mind, has a mind of its own. I think I can hear it moving even now. Doors where there weren't doors before. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go through this hallway. Okay, something just knocked something over, I think. I'm guessing right here. Wait, what the heck? the heck happened? This place just took a weird 180. It's like we're in a giant kitchen. Hello? That's very unsettling. Like, hearing just my footsteps is unsettling for me. Wait a minute. That's not right. There's a window here, but there's not on this side. What the heck? All right, Morgan. Stairs are always a good point. I think stairs are salvation here. Yes, take them slower. Is there an exit in here? <gasps> tape! Glorious tape. I'm gonna be on this side so I can watch the door in case something comes. The last thing I remember is the drone of the yellow light. These yellow lights? I was at an old gas station finishing a smoke by the dumpsters. The next thing I knew, I felt myself falling back through the wall behind me like it wasn't there. When I got up, I was in a labyrinth of yellow rooms and something inhuman was shambling in the next hall, just barely at the edge of sight. I was too shocked to scream. That might have saved my life. I hope I don't run into this thing. I just have the moans of a dying girl on my headset, so, uh... Yeah. It's okay, because I got my Hawaiian Costco shirt on. I love this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's one of the only shirts I'll wear without a hoodie on. I'm just going to say that right now. I love this shirt, and it will protect me. It is my armor against these deviants. I don't like that sound. It sounds like someone just slurping, and I don't like that. Hello.
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm hearing something. It's like whispering. It's not like the uh, grunts that we're hearing. Like that. It's like someone's voice just whispering. And I know it's not in real world because I'm home alone right now. Well, we're back here again. Christ. Like, this also brings up the... Alright, I'll ask later. I tried turning back, but there was no way back. I can only pray that there's an exit somewhere. Something tells me it's deeper down in the back room. An initiation that I cannot explain. In oh, intuition, not initiation. Let's hope I'm right. Sorry, I'm, I'm focusing on so many things. I just wanted it to be like, hey, it's cultic. No. No, I'm just being stupid. I, did, I didn't read it right. I'm sorry. There's hair on my crap. Like, I love having a dog, but his hair gets on everything. I just like the VHS feels of this. I just want to say that right now, because... It really gives, like, a cool grittiness to the game. Oh, we're back here again. Frick. Hello? Anybody? I got churros. Frick! I don't like that. I don't like the noises. I don't like the ghosts that are going to clap my cheeks when I'm dead. Wait, did we go up these before? Wait, this is where the tape was. Except that room's locked now, and this is open. What the actual... Okay... Tip, stomp. Hey, another one. Awesome. I hope you brought a flashlight. Why? It gets dark ahead. No! If not, well, all I can say is good luck. No, don't do it. Maybe just keep a hand out in the dark and pray that they can't see you with either. Wait, no. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. This scent chills down my spine along with the cold wind from outside. It is like 71 degrees and it is chilly. It is summertime. It should be like 90s. Oh, God. I might puke up that chicken I had for lunch. Yeah, I, and I realize my neck is hermit crab. Like, not hermit crab. It's uh, turtled right now. I don't want to get jumped. Spirits! Please don't eat my ass. Wait. It changed again. It's now... It's not like a home. This doesn't sound like hardwood, even though the floor looks like hardwood. Oh, I'm lost. No, thank you. Now see, I don't know if there's actually anything or if he's just yanking my chain. I hear the purring of a very large cat. My manhood's gonna jump back up inside me, I can feel it. There's something under this staircase. Nope, it's just a staircase. Who would have guessed? Ha ha. Oh, I feel so vulnerable right now. Any spirits in the dark that want to engage in fisticuffs? Like, believe it or not, I'm not afraid of many things. I'll take many things on if I have the right people at my disposal. But since this is me alone fighting spirits, I'm gonna be freaking the hell out. Like, if Jesse's here, yeah, I'll be cool, but right now, I'm scared to oblivion. 
Like bugs, I can deal with them. A lot of them aren't venomous. I think this place can read my mind. Oh, please tell me I can't. I had a memory of a spider bite when I was 10. Why were you thinking of that? The next thing I know, I hear little legs crawling on the floor. Whatever it is that scares you most, don't think about it here. Matt Mercer's in the building? Please don't tell me Matt Mercer is in this house. Please, God, don't let it be Matt Mercer. Please tell me Don Cheadle's not with him. That is just a heart attack waiting to happen. Uh, go downstairs. I'm going to go down this hallway, see what's here. I have good feelings. Matt Mercer, if you're in the dark, please do not kill me. Wait, I think it's this way. Are these mirrors or windows? Doesn't matter. I'm dead either way. Okay, more stairs. God, this place just loves it with its stairs. I don't want to go up the stairs. I want to be left alone. Uh Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's nothing here. Holy frick. Yep, this room is empty. If there's something here, and it backs me into this room, I am without a doubt cerebrally screwed. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain to... Screw it, I'm done. If you're listening, good job making it this far. I really mean that. A little bit of hope can go a long way down here. Take a breath. <gasps> Forgive yourself for all the times you almost gave up. I didn't try to give up at all. I didn't want to jump into Matt Mercer. Know that every step forward takes took courage. Keep it up and we might have a chance. Wait, why are the lights back? What the... The lights are just back for no apparent reason. Is Matt Mercer still roaming the halls? Huh? Mr. Mercer? Don Cheadle? Frankie Munez? You guys in these halls? Oh look, it's taking us back to the very beginning hallway. My favorite. With the shag carpeting. Oh, balls. I hate it here. It's weird how they have different sound effects. I want to say the more crunkled version, this one, this door here that made like the more garbled version, is a loop door. And the ones that sound more crisp, the more uh, smooth ones, they're trying to lead me forward. Mr. Mercer? Oh, God, help me. Okay, I could have sworn I saw a foot move down this step. Wait a second. Is this the hallway again? The hallway from the very beginning? God bless. Ooh. This hole looks different. I'm going to go down here. Hello? Tape! I spent the last seven or eight hours just pushing on walls. Sounds stupid now, but I was hoping to clip out of this place the same way I clipped in. Sounds like a good idea. Since you're still hearing from me, you can guess how well that went. You don't know, you could have left this tape and then escaped. So maybe I should push on walls. Eh, eh. Just use my big forehead. Because, you know, everyone points out that I have a giant forehead, when really it's not that big. 
one girl said she could saw that thing with a table saw. It, it doesn't make much sense, but she said she could do it, so... Mm. One said they could play chess on my forehead. I don't have a big forehead. You want a big forehead? Look to Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle has a billboard for a forehead. Hello? Well, let's go through this door, back into the uh, kitchen. God. You know what would suck? If I was just somehow looping myself back through the four first three areas. Tape! I got lucky, relatively speaking. Had a couple days of food and drinks in my pack in pre preparation for a few days traveling. I've been trying to ration it, but I'm starting to get dizzy. Not sure anymore if I'm seeing shapes in the dark or imagining them. Oh, frick, not in the dark again. Balls, no. You know, I'm surprised that one of these tapes aren't just like him uh, saying, uh, with all this food and water, I felt it was best just to eat it all. Kind of like he's losing hope, kind of like in uh, Unbroken, how the dude ate the chocolate bar. At... That wasn't supposed to happen. The dude ate the chocolate bar saying it didn't matter, and everyone was saying, yeah, it did matter. Good movie, good movie. Oh, frick. Yeah, let's go downstairs. Oh, hardwood floors. This is in the, next, the next area after the kitchen. So, we got, like, a tape from the living room, and then the tape from the kitchen, and I'm gonna call this area the hallway. And then we got a tape from the hallway. Then we seem to have looped back. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm always afraid that there's going to be something just wandering around here. Please don't be a dead end room. Okay, this leads to a hallway. Tape. Please be the end of darkness. I don't like being in darkness. At first, I wished I brought a weapon. Now, I'm not so sure. I'm almost certain I would have used it on myself by now. It's a dreadful thought, but I can't help wondering. If I die here, do I become one of those things? What things? I don't haven't seen a god dang thing. All I've heard is the moans of a woman and some thumping noises, which can I only mean they're doing the no pants dance, the mattress mambo, the concatina. Where's the door? I'm sorry. I'm freaking out. No, 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 no courage in this kid right now. Hello? Somehow recording videos is somehow more therapeutic than playing regular video games. I don't know what it is, but somehow it's just more therapeutic this way. Than just to sit out, sit around playing a video game. Oh God! Freedom! I hear it. Or that's a loop back door. Now, see, I don't know. Like this game gave no tutorial on what you're supposed to do, or uh, it it didn't give you any tutorial on what to do, or uh, how to uh, interact with the environment. It just kind of threw you in here and was like, hey, good luck. That's tape. And, like, I think that's just what it is. Like, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to figure everything out on your own, but it won't help. It's following me. Dear God, it's following me. Buddy, what's following you? Is it me? Wait. Okay, theory here. What if he's running around? He's leaving these tapes behind, and what he's hearing is me. 
because he's following me. He left that just after what the actual... This looks like a prison. It is a prison. Holy crap. Where, how did we go from, like, a 70s household to this? Alright, I'm going downstairs. Like, what happened? How... It's this way. Right there it is. It's weird how they're always in this kind of room. Is... Is this hell? I... I can't tell you, buddy. I would expect seeing... You know, Hitler... Uh, I, would Stalin be in hell? I don't know. Did he really commit do anything wrong? I mean, all Stalin did was genocide. Well, I just answered my own question. If you have to, if you have to question if someone's going to hell, and one of your questions is, uh, one of your answers is they did genocide. Just stop there and immediately say yes. There's like a crying child. Oh. This step's a lot deeper than the rest. What the heck? What does this one say? I think I'm getting close to the source. I can feel a pull that I can't explain. Something's drawing me further down to the center of all this madness. And maybe my way out. I can only hope I find it before something else finds me. I swear, there's like a baby crying. I also don't like my flashlight because it's a very uh, focused flashlight. Like, it focuses on in front of me, but not very much to the sides. Like, see this? It doesn't very focus much on the sides. I have to move it. Wait, what the heck? Why is the wall brick? Like, see this? It's like concrete. But that room was brick. What the... Whoa, wait, over here. Um... I'll go this... No, that way's... Well, they're all concrete. Let's just go straight. Hello? Baby want a bottle? Baby want Valium? Maybe want to shut up? Oh god. I'm gonna get gang banged by all the monsters, aren't I? Right here. Wait. Up here? What the heck? Who the heck are you? Wait, are you tape dude? Are you tape dude? Da 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 Wait, the doors. Wait, the doors went up. Wait, I'm locked in here. Wait, the game. Hello? Anybody? I locked it in. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god! Oh my god dang it! Why every time are these games like that? Cheap jump scares frick! Oh god, is there like a... Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. What does it look like? Oh, that's horrible too. Excuse me, I Oof. Congratulations, John McIntosh. Is that his name? Malitic? I don't know. Congratulations, Jan. I don't know why I say John. I was just in... Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was awesome. The constant dread I felt going down the hallways was uh, undeniably one of the scariest things I felt. Because 
even though there was, I felt like there wasn't anything there, my mind kept telling me there was. And when the lights went out, I felt just helpless. I felt like I wanted to just die right there in the game and have it been over. That was awesome. A great concept and great turn on the creepypasta, if that was what this is based off of. But very good job, Jan. Very bravo. Everyone, congratulations. I don't know if there were multiple endings to that game. I don't think there was. I think it was just inevitable that we get locked in that back room and Tape Dude attacks us. But still, all in all, very great game. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Lost in the Back Rooms. If there are more games like Lost in the Back Rooms, like off the Creepypasta, I will try to find them and hunt them down because I find them to be an interesting take on horror games where light is kind of uh, a key essential to them. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next atrocious installment of A Back Rooms Game. See you then, guys. Oh my god, my heart hurts.